Today is a June for 31st anniversary, and we have been holding this candlelight vigil in Victoria Park for over the last 30 years. But this year, the police banned our gathering in the name of virus. Actually, it's very sad for Hong Kong that um, the government banned the gathering tonight because it's tell the world and tell the people of Hong Kong that uh, what we have been doing in the past, we may we are not allowed to do tonight, and. Uh, that uh, one country, two system have become uh, tightened to one country, one system. And, and this is Carrie Lam, the Hong Kong government, you know, um, uh, stifling our freedom and destroying the image of Hong Kong. This is their responsibility. And when you look at the Victoria Park, uh, we do not know, uh, you know, how, what will happen tonight, but we will still go in. And we believe that we should have the right as 30 years, uh, for over 30 years, the right to light up a candle. And I, we call upon the people of Hong Kong to light up a candle. And, uh, and this is not just a Hong Kong event now. This is an international event. The world had called upon the Hong Kong government to uh, respect the rights of the people of Hong Kong to have a candlelight vigil. So um, the bulk now passed to Carrie Lam. What sort of image do they want to show internationally? And for us, we have only one wish, that the people of Hong Kong can commemorate June 4 and wherever they want. They can be in any corner of Hong Kong and including Victoria Park, we should have the right to have the candlelight uh, vigil. So uh, let's see what happens. Is the government, Hong Kong government trying to uh, please or, or show loyalty to Beijing and ban our gathering uh, before the even national security law come in. We do not know what will happen next year. And that is exactly the problem with Hong Kong. One country, two system is now being threatened. And we do not know whether uh, next year the, the rights and freedom that we have all uh, in the past, can we still exercise it next year? And Kerry Lam said, trying to say that, oh, this national security law is only targeting, um, you know, a, a few minority of people. But that is really um, not true, because once you have this law, once you target a few minority of people, so-called minority, which we don't exactly know, how, how wide is the net? No one knows, actually. Even Carrie Lam do not know what is the Communist Party Xi Jinping thinking. Will they target a lot of people? She cannot promise, actually. She does not, not know. But even when Carrie Lam said that, only a minority, but then, if the other people are fearful, the rest of Hong Kong, 7 million people are thinking, oh, what we have done in this past, we, uh, we may not, we have to recalculate, we are in danger, we are in fear, we do not know whether we can do it again. And that is exactly the problem, to rule, the rule of fear in Hong Kong, dawning on Hong Kong, and it will not be the life, the, the life that we have in the future.